the gospel a prophet, the evangelist, the, the pastor, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up unto all the, all the reach unity in the faith, in the knowledge of the Son of God, and become major, attending in the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. In Acts 21, 8, Philip is called the evangelist, and in 2 Timothy 4, 5, Paul exhorts Timothy to do the work of evangelist. There are only three uses of the word evangelist in the entire Bible. Other people use, other people could concern evangelist in the word of evangelist in the entire Bible. Other people could be concerned evangelist in that they preach the good news, including Jesus himself. Luke 20, first, the Paul, the Paul, oops, I got that one wrong. And Paul, Rome's first 15, but Philip's in the one person specialized called evangelist <coughs> in scripture. Which one was that? Romans. Romans. Mm -hmm. Romans. Romans first 15. That's a lot of Acts 6 3. If you want me to keep going with those. Keep going. Or you want me to skip those? Okay. At least you said one verse. <laughs> All right, preaching. Preaching the word of God is send a word of evangelists. They do not oversee the, the church, which is the Bible saying the word of the church elder. The word evangelist comes from the Greek word. It's a long word. I <laughs> she can't say it either. That word right there. Yeah, what she said. Yep. What you said. Right, right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, you means the messenger of good news. In Timothy, in Timothy 4, 5, the apostle, apostle Paul. Wait, Timothy. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, Timothy do the work of evangelists. In 1 Timothy 4, 6, Paul also introduce Tim Timothy the evangelist teach the doctrine of the Christian faith studying evangelists devote their time to study the Bible in 2 Timothy 1 15 the apostle Paul also introduced the evangelist Thomas and study the doctrine of the faith and in 2 Timothy 4 2 Paul also asked Timothy to correct false beliefs armed with the knowledge of the Bible. Evangelists were, all, were able to be their duties of correcting those who hold belief to the, to the word of God. Evangelist speaks to, sp to spread the gospel to other communities on others' area where they choose to serve. Some evangelists serve aboard and other travel from one place to another speaking and conference and churches. <laughs> that is, the, that's where everybody's gonna be. Not only me. The church and organizing where the evangelist is working for me also organize evangelist cruises and target area. Evangelists may also help form new churches and despise new deliver delivers in places where no churches have ever established yet. Working in local churches. Evangelists work closely to local church, updating and members and leadership about their ministry. They maintain a close relationship with their church and maintain their ability <laughs> to church leaders and members. Their home church and local church usually supports their financially, so they give reports to their churches, especially if they work for county. Some evangelists work the national and international organization. 
in which case they get direction and guidance from leaders and organizations. Is that the conclusion? You think you gave the conclusion? A summary of your conclusion? <laughs> so what's the job description of an evangelist? To spread the word. Spread the word. Preach the word. You gotta go out there and you gotta, you gotta go. To help. Wherever, to they, say, wherever they say you, the you have to go. You cannot say no to nothing. Say what? You cannot that? say no. Uh, yes, sorry. You cannot say no. You gotta get a note. I hope she really saw the face. Amen. Amen. Okay, so just so you know, the stories on the phone got pulled. When you started, when you started so I got the middle of it to the end on a different phone. But we'll put it together for you. Okay, now we are up to number four. Come forward, number four. Come on, Daryl. Number of control. Oh, come on, Jerry. Here we go. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. 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 Now the meniscus. How you doing, everyone? My name is Jerry. Brother Jerry. And my topic today is pastors. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to go for oh, the sure. Definition of a pastor obey leaders and submitting to the submitting to them for they are keeping watch over our souls as those have to give an account for you let them do this with joy and not with groaning for the, that would be one of no advantages to you the duties are they do weddings baptisms bring the word of god worshiping praying counseling deliverances and funerals <laughs> that was it. That's okay. Uh, three things that pastors normally do <clears throat> brings the word of God to the shepherds and followers and following seeking spiritual guidance. Pastors dedicate their lives in fulfilling to what God brings to them. I call them to study the Bible and preaching. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, which is a fivefold ministry. In preparing preparation of a pastor, my definition is pastors prepare us, pre pastors prepare us to teach us the word of God and disciple us with the word of God. Mm -hmm. He equipped us with the word of God so that we can go out and preach and teach the people of the world the word of God. And in conclusion, their pastors are very special people. They are called to teach us, disciple us, pray for us, and to preach the word to the world that is needed to learn about God and the word of God. They watch over us and leads us to the gospel and the word of the Lord so that we can take the word of God to the lost, to the sick, and to all who's needing the word of God to heal us from what is needed in our hearts. Amen. Amen. And where did you did you find scriptures in the Bible? Oh yeah. Um Hebrew 13, Hebrews 13 7. It says, Remember your leaders who speak the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their ways of life and intimate in, in, intimate in, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. Very nice, Jeremy. <laughs> 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 hey, not there. 
Estos sacerdotes sirven en un santuario que es copia y sombra del que está en el cielo. These, these, uh, these uh, high priests, um, they, they, they serve in a, in a temple that is, that is is like a spit image of God's kingdom <clears throat> that is in heaven. Tal como se le advirtió a Moisés cuando estaba a punto de construir el tabernáculo. Just like they, it, it was uh, advised to Moses when he was constructing, constructing the tabernacle um, back then. Asegúrate de hacerlo todo según el modelo que se te, se te ha mostrado en la montaña. And it was told to him, make sure that you, you, make, you make it just like the model that it was given to you back in the mountain. Pero el servicio sacerdotal de Jesús ha recibido es superior de but the service, the priesthood uh, received by Jesus, it's all superior to any of the other priesthoods. 
así como el pacto del cual es mediador es superior al antiguo, so has the uh, pact that it was made by, by Jesus, you know, is superior at, it's superior to the old, uh, to the old pact. A través de él es que Dios nos perdona o nos castiga o nos castigaba dependiendo de la decisión que Dios tomara. So, by which God would, would have uh, forgiven us or he would have punished us depending on his decision if he would have accepted that offering or not, you know. Um, el funcionamiento del sumo sacerdote en el templo de Jerusalén, el cual su privilegio era de entrar a lo más sagrado de lo sagrado. So the functioning of the functioning of, of the high priest um, in the temple of Jerusalem, it, it was a privilege for him to just to go into the to the sacred of the most sacred um, of the temple que era el, san, el santuario interno a donde Dios habitaba which it was the, the inner sanctuary inner sanctuary there you go. <laughs> inner sanctuary where, where God and the Holy Spirit was, was, would dwell um, where no back then no more no regular person could have just went in. Um, He's talking about the tabernacle. Yeah. Um, the, in the inner sanctuary where the high priest would go in by himself. Um, donde Dios habitaba una vez al año en el día del ato atormento. Yep. Which was once a year in, in, in the day of atonement. Yeah para quemar incenso y regal la sangre del animal que fue sacrificado so that he would uh, burn incense and spread the, the blood of the, the sacrifice of the lamb or the animal that was sacrificed on that day para así poder pedir perdón por sus pecados y los pecados del pueblo so that the high priest can ask for forgiveness for his sins and also for the sins of the of the whole town of the whole city um en este en esta ocasión él solo vestía de linaje blanco el sumo sacerdote también era encargado de las finanzas del templo y, y su administración in this day he would the high priest would, would, would he He was dressed only in white, and only in white. And he also had, uh, he also had, uh, he was also in charge of, of the finances of the, of the temple and the administration. Y en otro templo, and in another temple, era que coleccionaba los impuestos y mantenía orden sobre el pueblo. And in another temple, It was where he would like gather the, the taxes and the offerings and he would put like peace against the city and stuff. <clears throat> um, él era la cabeza primordial de la política. He was the high head of, back then he was the high head of the uh, politics in, in that. Government. Yeah, in the Government. politics. In that time, what is that politics? It didn't say government. No, it didn't say government. Yeah, it didn't say government. It said politics. <clears throat> Para esos tiempos, el sumo sacerdote no podía pagarle respuesta a los muertos. So back then, in those times, the, the high priest, he was forbidden to, to pay respects to the dead because he was considered a, a holy man. <clears throat> and back then, you know, he, like Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. So, mm -hmm. él tenía que evitar eso y solo se podía 
casarse con una mujer virgen. And he had to avoid, avoid that. And he was only allowed to marry a virgin woman. So it, it, it couldn't be like, Nowadays, you know, I got divorced. I'm gonna marry another woman. He was only allowed to marry one virgin woman. That's deep. <laughs> That's deep. <laughs> en el templo de Salomón habían servido 18 sumo sacerdotes entre 960 o oh, 586 a 960 BC. In Solomon's, uh, in Solomon's temple, they, were, they served 18 high priests between 586 BC to 960 BC. Um, yeah, and, and something like that. It, it was, it was, it was, it was deep because if you look at it, he had a, the high priest had a, a, a very complicated life. You know, although he was human and he made he sinned and everything, because everybody sins, but he was risking his life by just going into the inner temple because you never knew. You know, he could have think, he could have thought, ah, I'm more good. I did everything good. You know. I'm good, so I'm good to go in. And next thing you know, you go in, poof, there you go to life. You ain't good. So it, it's very, I don't think back then they would say, hey, I don't want to be a high priest. I don't think they'd be like, you're a high priest, whoa. I think they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like back then, it, it's, it's like, I look at it as, Nowadays, to to a pastor, you know, but it's like a pastor times ten. Times ten. Yeah, because it's 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 something that you're going in, you know, and and, and it's you don't know what you're going in, you know, you you you're taking that chance, you know. It's like God's telling you you're gonna risk your life coming in to see. You. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And pastors now have second chances. Exactly. Like back then, like you, back then, you, you didn't have that. You was like, all right, let me tie <laughs> this rope. Just in case. <laughs> Just in case you can pull me out and let my family bury me if I die. But it was a, a risk they had to take. And and it was considered. And they had to prepare about a whole year before. Yes. 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 And, and to me, I look at it as. Back then, it was a privilege to be a high priest. You know? Can you name a priest, a uh, high priest, well, the, that went into the temple, <coughs> and when he came out, he was not even speaking? Oh, man, I feel like I want to know the name, but I know the name, but I just don't remember it. Oh. I know, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, uh, <laughs> what's his name was the first high priest? Um, <laughs> Yeah. Aaron was the first. Aaron was the first high priest. Okay. So you know that the priest was is not passing on. Uh, not the one who couldn't speak. No. Okay. Was it Zechariah? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I I I saw this and and this this uh, from First Peter <coughs> two nine. I I really like it and it's something that that. First Peter. First Peter two nine, and it says, "But you are you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of His own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies excellencies of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light." I like that. First Peter what? Two nine. I, I, I saw that, I read it, and, and it, it, hit, it hit home. That hit home. So, you know, that was what I had on High, high Priest. Wow, beautiful. That's 
so my brain was functioning mm -hmm. at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I was at work. I was at work. So I came out of work. So I was like, I'm, I'm trying to get this done. Majority of you didn't put your name on it, so I'm putting it in. I can know what well, you know. Sorry. Sorry. That's okay. I'm you know sorry. I'm sorry. You know I'm sorry. Mine is the big yellow paper. That's the most important part of this. Again, this is at night. <laughs> at SAT, that's about a good chunk of your that's, score. That's my two. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want to draw it out. It's the whole score. You didn't want to get a he score. Made, um, I was handwriting that um, at night. <laughs> And I woke up this morning to type it wow. and print it out. So the day was the least of the things I could remember. I was like, I ain't playing. That was a cool Still, um, thousand points off of your test, <laughs> off of your SAT. So we're almost close to the end. Oh,
blessing that works. She's learning to learn Portuguese. <laughs> Amen. Everybody's good?
And as you can either sing a song or read a song that she had most of them. <laughs> praise God, praise God. Amen. Now number six, come forward.
a vegan if he is addicted to wine or other strong drinks, mm -hmm. such as people lack self-control and is undisciplined. Uh, fourth one is not greedy or dishonor, honor, honor is gain. If a person is a lover of money, he is not qualified to be a deacon, especially since deacons often handle financial matters for the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. The fifth one is sounds in faith and life. Paul also indicates that a deacon must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. The phase, the mystery of the faith is simply one way Paul speaks of the gospel. Consequently, this statement refers to the needs for deacons to hold firm to the true gospel without wavering. Mm -hmm. Yet the qualification does not merely involve one belief. For it must also hold these beliefs with a clear conscience. That is the behavior of a deacon must be consistent with his beliefs. Mm -hmm. uh, the fifth one is blameless. Paul was Rights the deacon must be tested first. Then let them serve as deacon if they prove themselves blameless. Blameless is a general term referring to a person's overall character. Also, Paul does not specify what type of test is to take place at a minimum. The candidate personal background, reputation, and theological position should be examined. Mm -hmm. The congregation should not only examine a potential deacon, moral, spiritual, and doctrinal maturity, but should also consider the person track record of service in the church. Mm -hmm. All right, number seven is godly wife. <laughs> Thank you. It is debated whether verse 11 refers to a deacon's wife or to a deaconess. Mm -hmm. For the sake of this discussion, we will assume that the verse is speaking about the qualification of a deacon's wife. According to Paul, deacon's wife must be dignified, not slanderous, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Mm -hmm. Secondly, she must be a slanderer of a person who goes around spreading the gospel. Mm -hmm. All right, number eight is husband of one wife. Mm -hmm. The best interpretation of the difficult phrase is to understand it as referring to the faithfulness of the husband towards his wife. He must be a one woman man. That is, there must be no other women in his life to whom he relates in an intimate way either emotional or physical. Wow. Mm -hmm. Number nine is... That should have been number one. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, oh Lord. Man is choosing a household will. That's number nine. That's the last one. <laughs> A deacon must be the spiritual leader of his wife and children. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. And it says, there are the office of elders often ignored in the modern church. 
the office of deacons is often misunderstood based on the New Testament. The role of the deacon is mainly to be a servant. The church needs deacons to provide a material support so that the elders can focus on the word of God in prayer. All right, that's that's the end of my thing on deacons. And thank God for a chance to come before you today. Amen. Anybody want to say anything about the deacons? I mean, add anything? Any questions for them? Any questions? <laughs> deacons, deacons, like you said, deacons as, it's almost as being pastors. Because when the pastor has to have an emergency meeting or has to step out, um, the deacons are in charge. They're responsible to maintain order in the church. Right. Their job is to follow the schedule. If, there's, if you have a church that does schedule, mm -hmm. they have to follow the order of the service mm -hmm. and make sure that no one gets out of line. Right. Yeah. You know? And they have to keep the church. Yes. Um, it was an off. It was a position I once held a deaconess, and mm -hmm. you have to make sure that you're aligned with the pastor, mm -hmm. with his vision. rules vision. and his vision. Mm -hmm. And also, if he gives you a certain thing to do, like when I was a deacon, I had to oversee mm -hmm. the entire church, make sure phones was off, make sure there was no chewing <coughs> for gum, make sure, and it was hard because you have a lot of people that oppose you. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't like the fact, and being that I was a woman doing it, it was even harder for me yeah. because the men would gripe about it. Like, I'm not doing it. Your girl, why? You know, and I, I had to stand firm. It wasn't like I can cry or weep. I had to stand my position and stand firm. And there were times where I would go afterwards and cry and be like, I don't want to do this. And the pastor was like, God called you to do it, you know. So there's nothing. I can't take it back. And the thing is, it's in there with the, the deaconesses. Yes. It's in there. It wasn't just a position held for men. Yeah. It's for women as well. And that you walk one-on-one -on -one with the pastor. That's why they say it's, it's almost like you're a pastor. Like mm -hmm. Everywhere he okay. went. I had to go with him. Like, like, I need to trust you guys. I need mm -hmm. to trust the deacons. I need to trust yes. the elders. That if I'm not here, that everything will continue yes. as mm -hmm. it should be. Be you know, be, 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 uh, over, over you the overseeing, overseeing, yeah. yeah. Make sure everything is okay. Just like being a pastor, yeah. Yeah. Just like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 You know, I do want to say something. Like for years, and I, I, I keep reminding you that I want to do it, but I keep forgetting. I wanted to do. You know how when you're looking for a job, and you're looking and you have job postings. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do job duties and everything. I actually wanted to do a document and prepare it for everyone, like a job description. Mm -hmm. You know, and and so that way you mm -hmm. guys know what each um, position or entails mm -hmm. when it comes to church organizations. It's know? supposed to be done. That's part of the bylaws. Yeah. yeah. I think I do have the bylaws. And everybody knows that we officially incorporated. Oh, yeah. Yeah, since yes. December. We finally mm -hmm. got the word that we are officially mm -hmm. incorporated. Praise and worship healing ministry. Mm -hmm. in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. So we are able to get funding if anyone wants to help. We're able to. Everybody did great. Um, praise God. Hallelujah. I didn't give anything to Marisol because she gave the Sunday class. Praise God. The last night they were on, she was on fire doing her studies. And then at the same time, the Lord touched Manny. Praise God. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, and he could sweat up and sweat up. And this sweater, and this sweater. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. So, Danny, uh -oh. what did the paper say? What did your paper, little paper say? Nothing. It said something. Yeah, then I had to take it back. Oh, it's a conclusion. <laughs> so, I'm giving him the conclusion 
the conclusion of all this. Amen. Praise God. Whatever God put in his heart, last night he was on the computer. I mean, it, it was so beautiful. It was so beautiful that everything fell in place. Amen. Amen. Everything fell in place. Amen. And praise God. So he's going to bring a conclusion of of that's a discipline chair. No, it's not. It's a good chair. So Yaya is representing our pastor Maribel. I'm going to put Yaya on the chair because she, number one, is a lot lighter than our pastor. Um, we're going to skip right now straight to the end of it. Let me get Kelvin, Marina. Mary. And I forgot your name. Kaylee. Okay. Y'all two um, grab each side of the legs. And y'all two grab the other side of the legs. And you're going to lift Yaya. And you're going to move her. Yaya, sit in the center of the chair, please. Sit like this, Mama. Okay. Perfect. Sit all the way back and hold on to the chair, okay, Mommy? You're going to move her to the wall. Okay? Look. She likes that. Right? All together as a team, you was able to move her, not pull her back gently. Okay, so we as a team just took Pastor from point A to the goal, to the mission. Okay, this is the last thing that we're going to talk about. Okay, Kelvin, don't go too far. Now, the first, now we're going to go right back to the beginning. 1 Corinthians 12, 19. Are all apostles? Question mark. Are all prophets? Question mark. Are all teachers? Question mark. Then I'm going to add one. Are all pastors? No. Are all workers of miracles? Verse 30. Do all have gifts of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? And we're going to use his... What do you have? Evangelist? A deacon. Okay, so we're going to skip across to deacon. Because that's the one that he did. Deacon is the gift of helping. Think about that. Absorb that. The gift of helping. Now, he just spoke about it. I'll be louder there, all right? The gift of helping is... That's the right hand to the pastor. So if you really look at it, if the pastor says, hey, deacon, make sure this is done, right? The pastor would say that. And the deacon would go and tell the other folk, the other folks, mm -hmm. which is the other leg, go do that. But the deacon also told the other two posts to do it. But Mary's post didn't want to do it. So now Kelvin is going to demonstrate how to move this chair with the pastor on it if you're the only one that's on board. Hold on tight. Hold on tight because this is going to get bumpy. You too strong, brother. You see? Now, if all four people were on there, they couldn't stop one little person that's a bad seed from moving that chair. Because her post, her post, and her post would have helped you get me out of the yeah, way. It would have been easier. Because you could have held that by your whole, by yourself. Mm -hmm. That's not the purpose of the church. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. That's not the purpose. Mm -hmm. If she's not holding her weight, mm -hmm. the whole mission, and it ain't your mission, it ain't your mission, it ain't her mission. It's what God put in her heart. That's the mission. Right? The title of what I'm going to talk about today is The Gifts of the Holy Spirit 
and how as a body Go ahead, Joe. we can bring the pastor to mission assigned by the church assigned to the church by God not by man by God Marisol, um, Acts 4, 33 through 37. This part is the gift of apostleship. It's broken down into two parts. There's a general apostle and then there's a specific apostle. You guys have already spoken about this. Um, and I didn't know what was on your papers. Right? And you need to none of this. I was sitting at my computer last night typing this. Acts what? Acts 4, 3. Uh, 4, 33 through 37. Marina, get ready. Ephesians 4, 11. Jerry. Yes. 1 yes. Peter 4, 11. 1 Peter 4, 11. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4, 17. 33, 37. Mm, Shalomar. Yes. Acts. You got the longest one. Acts 2, verse 4 through 11. And then, Pastor, you're going to bring up the... Oh, wait, no, there's no more. 1 Corinthians 14, 5. Okay. Okay. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked, for as many as were possessors of land or houses sold them and brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. What is the need? And this ain't got nothing to do with the verse. It's showing the demonstration of the need. The need of the pastor, right? But the pastor can't do it by herself. The need is to spread the gospel. This apostle is actually the evangelist, which is what you spoke about. Right? So if the evangelist is not doing her job, in this case it's Veronica, so we're gonna say her. If the evangelist is not doing her job to spread the gospel, how is Mary gonna do her job of teaching? How is Marina gonna do her job of healing? How is Kelvin gonna do his job of deaconing? Is that even a word? No. No, he's not a deaconess, he's a boy. No, 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 I just How's she gonna do her job as pastor? How's he gonna do his job? Jerry. Nobody can do their job if you don't pull them into the church. The evangelist's job is to spread the seed. If she don't start, nobody else's job is there. It, the mission doesn't get accomplished. It doesn't even get started. Because you're going to have a church with four walls. That's a whole other preaching. Okay. Verse 36. And Joseph, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is it being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and, the, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money, and laid it at the apostles' feet. Now, we gave, you gave your example, what you thought the evangelist was. Like I said, I didn't see your paper. You wrote that in your house. I live on the other side of town. Okay, this is the, uh, what is it called? The Webster's Dictionary definition of evangelist. And it's right, perfectly what you spoke about. Amazing. Those specifically commissioned by the resurrected Lord to establish the church and the original message of the gospel. La semilla. So right? the evangelist opens churches. No. no. The evangelist is here to bring them to you. Oh, okay. So that you can 
keep them okay. and teach them and heal them and out. Mm -hmm. Right? It was, it but was without the evangelist, mm -hmm. you're never going to have nobody in here. So it's kind of like that's the doctor, but the doctor needs the nurse, mm -hmm. and the nurse needs the CNA, and the CNA needs the, the ID, receptionist. the receptionist, and the receptionist needs needs the one who puts all the files away because without them, <coughs> the doctor is lost because all the doctor knows is the word that was given to them. Thank you. The seed mm -hmm. plant the seed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. She just, <laughs> she <laughs> just <laughs> Okay, Marisol. Um, it was actually um, the apostles' job to actually help establish churches. Oh, yes. <coughs> so it wasn't as, their, their job was twofold. It was to evangelize, but it was also to establish churches. And you see that in the journey of... Okay, I'm, I'm cutting her off. Okay, so the evangelist is local. We all know about subways and how it runs, right? Local, and then you got the express. I know you from down south. You know how that works? No, not really. Okay, so you have the local takes all the stops close to your house. The express goes long distance. Okay? So part two of being the apostle, the evangelist is local. That means Uptown Plaza, Linglestown, a little bit of Hershey, you know, right here. And then the other one, the apostle, the general apostle. Any messenger commissioned as a missionary, what's a missionary? Going to other countries, that's far mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so the apostle is local and then the apostle is also the missionary that goes yeah. to other lands um that's ephesians 4 11. marina was it go ahead 4 11. i had 4 11. okay and he himself gave some to the apostles some prophets some evangelists and some pastors and teachers keep going yes for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, mm -hmm. for the edifying of the body of Christ. Right there. Now, that's bringing people from mm -hmm. far. And I like bringing people from far because they bring food. Shit. <laughs> okay, so without the local and without the far, the church don't grow, right? Yeah, because it's not only about praise and worship, healing ministry. No, it's about Jesus. Right? Yeah. But if you don't spread and the other person doesn't bring them in from the other countries, Jesus' word don't get out. Now, the next one is the gift of prophecy. Mm. Who, those who speak under the inspiration of the pastor. What? No. Hey, hey, somebody heard it. Okay. Those who spoke under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the only one that can inspire prophecy. If not, it's going to end up what Mary was talking about. The false prophecies. The prophecy on feelings, basically. Um, bringing a message from God to the church. And whose main motivation and concern is the spiritual life and purity of the church. So... We are going to use Mary this time because she was one of the pillars. And I want to see Mary try to move by herself with the prophecy only. <laughs> move to the mission. Now I help. <laughs> see, she can't do it by herself. Okay, perfect. So, prophecy can't do it by herself. We had the deacon earlier try to do it by himself, and he lifted her. Because remember, the deacon is stronger. So he can try and move the pastor to the mission. But can't do it. you got to have the whole team. Uh, who had 1 Peter 4.11? Oh, 
If anyone speaks, they should do so as one who speaks the very words of God. If anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides, so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus Christ. To him be the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now, whoever speaks to the congregation is to do so as one who speaks the very words of God. <coughs> God ain't your feelings. God ain't, oh, I saw him crying in the corner, so let me go and talk to him about it's going to be okay. We'll talk in tongues real quick before I go talk to him about it being okay. No, that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. Just because you know that I'm going through something, don't come to me with the fake. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. We all have feelings. And if we bounce off of our feelings, it doesn't work. It does not work like that. Perfect strangers, ooh, is the best. Mm -hmm. We went all the way to Philadelphia. That lady did not know me from a hole in the wall. Mm -hmm. I looked around and said, where's my pastor? That's the first thing. Because the pastor was the only one that knew my problem. At that day, the problem happened. So it wasn't where I could call Marina for guidance and Marina get up. Could call Mary for guidance on my issue. You know, the bochincha? Yeah, <laughs> and then Mary, come on, keep going. And then Mary called Veronica for guidance. And then, before you know it, the prophet that is from another town, the whole crew had already talked to her, and she comes over to me in tongues, and then... <laughs> no! That's not how it works. They must know about Chinchero because they ain't even know. Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Chinchero is God. You know that, right? But he, he's about Chinchero about yes. Chinchero. Yeah. And he come down and tell him, Pastor, mira. Que tu estas sufriendo. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> She's a pastor. <So>, <laughs> this represents the person that we don't know. Exactly. Exactly. I'm walking in mm -hmm. Wegmans supermarket, whatever. Wagons? Yeah, white people supermarket. <laughs> Path Mark. There we go. We're from the hood. There you go. Organic. Okay. Organic. Uh, Food Lion? <laughs> We're from down south, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm from down south too, don't worry. So I'm walking with my shopping cart with my baby in it. And she comes and says, Are you of God? And I'm like, Yeah. She's like, You're not from me. And I was like, man, no, we're just traveling and we went to get some mm -hmm. groceries. God has a word for you. And she stops you and gives you that word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She don't know nothing about me. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's going to happen in a church. It don't have to happen in a supermarket. Mm -hmm. It can happen anywhere. Mm -hmm. But that perfect stranger that comes up and says, is your name Shalomar? Yeah, I wear a name tag on my shirt all day. <laughs> no! Shout. Um, living proof right here. This is living proof of that. That God called you by your name. Do you understand? A perfect stranger. That is such a good feeling. When God can just look down on you and say, I'm going to send a perfect stranger to call you by your name. <laughs> and then I'm going to read you like a book. Yeah. from a perfect human being that doesn't even know who you are. Mm -hmm. That is prophecy. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what Mary spoke about today. Y me tenía ahí brincando up and down in, in Veronica's corner over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Veronica's corner. It was good. It was good. It was good. Over here. And I'm saying to myself, but mm -hmm. I, I studied this yesterday, and she don't even live in Harrisburg. She lives outside of Harrisburg, so I definitely didn't go to her house. How did I know? And I was like, okay. Uh, God's divine appointment. God's divine appointment. Next. The gift of teaching. Mm -hmm. Now, 
before I even read or have whoever it was read uh, 1 Corinthians 4.17, why is this important? The, those gifted to clarity, what is clarity? Clear mind. Jeremy, what is clarity? <laughs> clarity? Your mind. Understanding. Understanding. Mary. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clarity is claridad. Es ver todo en la mesa, lo que estamos hablando. Todo. Entendiendo todos, viendo todo, y preguntando. So you can get clarity. Okay. Now, that's just part of it. And then there's the explaining so you can get the clarity. But the very important part of this whole sentence is God's word. That's what the teaching is going to be about. That's why, and you, you're, you're just seeing stuff today right now as I'm talking about this, but you're not noticing what you've already done. Today, the Sunday school for the kids was Mary and Veronica, right? So y'all opened up with a Bible verse. It was based on the Bible. Marisol, same thing. She started, let's pray for the word. We do this on a normal basis, but this is what it's supposed to be. The pastor, she goes to preach. What's the first thing she does? We're going to read the word together today. Everything is based on God's word. Whether it's a preaching, a seminar, everything has a Bible verse part of it. Right? Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. We are those gifted to clarify and explain God's word in order to build up the church. Okay? That's teaching. 1 Corinthians 4.17. For this reason, I have sent to you, Timothy, my son, who I love, who is a faithful, and who is a faithful in the Lord, who will remain he will remind you of my way of, of life in, Christ, in Jesus Christ, which agrees with what I teach wherever in every church. In every church. Just as I teach everywhere in every church. Now, we all have gone to different churches in different states, right? But what's the most common thing that you see in every church? You got the Sunday school for the kids. You got the preaching on Sunday. And it's all biblical. Right? If not, you wouldn't be here. Because you would be out in the street somewhere. If your church that you was at previously wasn't doing it properly, Kelvin would have been saved right now. Marisol would have not been saved right now. Right? Everything is the same. Yeah, the schedule might be different. We might do it at 11 o'clock. Some people might do it at 5 in the afternoon, but everything is there. The Sunday school class, that's why when, when Marisol said that they're going to start Sunday school for the kids, I was like, yes, because that's in accordance. That's how we're supposed to have it done. Um, yeah, we, now, now we got kids. I mean, not we, no, no. Um, okay, we, the next one, but I already did it was the deacon the gift of helping the deacon chosen and gifted to render practical assistance to members of the church and pastor hmm. keeping the order like marina said and it's something little like gum or taking off the shoes before you come into the sanctuary it's simple. <laughs> you want your soul to be saved, you're going to stop sinning. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? You want your glasses to be clean, you're going to keep cleaning until it gets clean, right? Yes, or when it's the same thing. It's the same thing. If the pastor wants a certain message to get out there, she's going to keep preaching it until it gets you your thick, thick skull. <clears throat> A few Our weeks ago, a week, a few weeks ago, yeah, a few weeks ago, she was preaching about, or no, you were teaching about tithes and offerings, 
I was in Georgia in my parents' church, and guess what the pastor was talking about, and the Sunday school was talking about the same thing. The same thing. thing. And Isaiah Salvador too. Yeah, that it, same it, weekend. we're all in the same accord mm -hmm. because we serve the same God. Mm -hmm. We don't serve the God that Pablo serves today, <laughs> and then the, the the God that Veronica serves tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No, we all serve the same God. Mm -hmm. If not, with all that Holy Spirit that was jumping around here today, you would probably be out that door by now. Mm -hmm. You couldn't stand being in here right now. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about my God. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, the next one is the gift of administration. <coughs> that was Carlos, the high priest. Mm -hmm. He oversees everything, but he's right aligned with the pastor. Mm -hmm. Very important. Um, the pastor is not really mentioned in this way because we're in a new time now. But for me, my interpretation ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. Um, the high priest would be what we call now a pastor. That's the person that has a direct link with God without sin unless you see her going through a stop sign. That's so I'm working on her. Okay. Um, it's overseeing the everyday activities of the church. Overseeing. Shalomar, what does overseeing mean to you personally? Making, keeping people in order. When you oversee something, you're you're making sure you have a crew. I so have you a crew. ain't doing nothing. You're overseeing it, right? No, that's a lie. You're putting in work. No. The definition of oversee is to tell the deacon to go do. So then when I tell my children to go do the dishes, I don't yeah, think you oversee. <laughs> but that's your job. So oversee. I'm, and the spiritual bofeta like that is worse than one in the face. It's the bochinche. It's the bochinche he be doing. Right? But... That's our high priest, basically. She goes to God with the sacrifice, which is Jesus Christ now, because we're in 2020, uh, two, 2022. Yeah, I didn't get COVID yet. Okay, so if we take all of this and we put it together, the mission, right? What we did in the beginning. But then we're forgetting something very important. Very important. Shalomar. Yes. It's on you. Acts 2, 4 through 11. Speaking in tongues. Yo, listen. God, I told you about this. I don't like to teach you with all these people. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm not a member. Me either. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they are stay they were staying in Jerusalem, God fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. Even they heard this sound. A crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed they asked. Wait, what? Read that part again? In their, the what part? The, uh, in their the, own language. Okay. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Listen, I've never done anything to you. We good, right? <laughs> <laughs> we cool, right? Yeah, but did you hear what that said? Again, I read it. I, I, I read it. Of course I did. Do your hair stand up on your arm a little bit? Just think about it, right? We're in the room right now. And I'm going to do it like I'm going to use her. No. She doesn't know English. I know she don't know no English. Okay? Tell me. Tell me. He don't know no Spanish. You get where I'm going with this, Jerry? Okay? God uses him to speak in tongues to her. They don't speak each other's language. 
He might know how to say como estas, or back when he was a younger, hey, what's happening? <laughs> right? But he don't know nothing else in Spanish. He knows two words in Spanish. And I she knows two. I, 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 <laughs> and then, la hermana Estel no sabe mucho inglés. Quizás otra palabra, hi. Yes. That's it, right? Pero el Señor lo va a usar a él. Habla a ella. God is going to use you to talk to her. Just like that. No, en lengua. Si tú vas a entender, es tu lenguaje. Y después tú vas a hablar para atrás en lengua a él. No, el bochinche del Señor, sí. Egypt and go. the parts of Libya near Cyrena. This is business from Rome, both Jews and co co converts of Judaism. Cranes and Arabs, we're here and declaring the oneness of God in their own tongues. Bochinche, bochinche, bochinche. Okay, now, what we're seeing. What's he, go ahead, go ahead, Alexa, faster. What we're seeing right here is the church, or at least a part of the church, because you see everybody else is sitting down. We're protecting the pastor. Right? How are we protecting the pastor? Because someone came into church and was speaking in tongues, and it was false. So we're protecting the pastor by saying, Mira, um, <clears throat> La Mano for one of the times was talking to her earlier. And she tore her all your teacher, so um, be careful with that. You might want to ask for confirmation. <laughs> right? And then God says, and then God says to another perfect stranger, now, cuando ella trata, lo a She's demonstrating, she's demonstrating the Holy Spirit. Now, you're going to try to bring a, a message to the pastor. Yeah. That's what the Holy Spirit does. Yeah. Don't even let the message get to the pastor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But if you, as part of the church, tú como cuerpo de la iglesia, parte de la iglesia, no está haciendo su trabajo. Si vos ganas. 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 Si and that's wrong. Okay? Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, yeah, yeah. You ready for the last one? This is the good one. You ready? Like, sure. I'm, I'm good. Okay. 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 She's going to get her attention. She's not used to this. Yeah, yeah. Say more change. She's a good word. Nobody ever got to see it. It's 
pochinche? Oh, they all speak pochinche, papa. I promise you, every adult in here that speaks pochinche is their favorite language when they talk to God. But adult doesn't speak that. They don't. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. I can teach you how to speak I'll teach you. Don't worry, I got you. Nah. Okay, Pastor is going to read. You blocking the camera? 1 Corinthians 14, 5. I will say you will speak with tongues, but rather they be prophesied. But greater is he that prophesies than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interpret, that the church may receive and find. And is that it? Okay. Jerry. Yes, sir. What does the word edifying mean to Jerry? Edifying. Lifting up. Okay, so is that good or bad? Okay. Shalomar, what does the word edifying mean to Shalomar? I picked on Jerry first. Um, I didn't go straight to her. I ended up there though. Um, edify, I mean, it's support. When you edify something. And support is good, right? Yes. Okay, so support, let's say um, I'm in the military. <clears throat> And my support element tells me, go over here. And I go over there and I get blown up. Well, not all support is good support. <coughs> no, I didn't say all support is good. You actually what was edifying to me is support. Now, it depends on the kind of support. You got to, okay. again, but as a whole, that's where we come yeah. into. When I got that phone call in the military that said, go, go take this thing over there. And then I got blown up. It looked edifying. What's my tablet? <laughs> Just like <laughs> that, the tongues, the tongues that comes, Marina looks edifying right now. The tongues look edifying, right? But it came false because your friend <clears throat> spoke to her before and said all the bochinche. <laughs> that was the bad bochinche, not the good bochinche like she's talking about, right? Now. She's bringing the corrupt message that looks edifying. <clears throat> Let me borrow this. And then God says, <clears throat> come over here. Get away from my servant. But not in the sense of this and the actual removing. No. God blocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know how I know that? Because it happens to me. Mm -hmm. I'll be sitting there and I'm like, God, I'm Marisol's husband. Thank you. I'm Marisol's husband. And one too many times people have false prophesied to my wife. And as a husband, I need to protect her. So if the message is for both of us, let me hear it. And I'm standing right next to her and I can't hear nothing. Okay, well, Lord, that might have been a message just for her. Right? Mm -hmm. It's such a weird feeling. <coughs> it has. And then there's the <clears throat> um, the speaker's too loud. <laughs> I can't hear what the person the person that's talking in tongues in front of me in my face, gritando lengua, you know what it is. And then I ask her. Hey, did you hear anything that I was saying to you? <laughs> no, I couldn't. The speaker was too loud. I said, okay, well, none of the other. <laughs> it wasn't of God. It may not be that it wasn't of God. It just may be that it wasn't of no, God. No, I, I, I've passed this already. Yeah. So, yeah. it's already happened to me, to Daniel. Okay? Mm -hmm. God literally is false. Don't listen. Mm -hmm. You're not going to do that. And I would say, okay, Jesus, well, you let me hear it, but then immediately said, hold up, check that. And how? Because I would literally walk to my pastor, which is my high priest, that has the direct, yo, like the bat phone. No es de Dios. Okay. I just happened to conveniently live with her. So she just like. Bye. She'll come and she'll be like, what you going through right now? <coughs> I ain't nobody, not even my wife know what I was going through. Mm -hmm. 
That's the problem with living with the pastor. This happened to me and I'm gonna live with the pastor. Or you wake up at like three o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and you hear talking in tongues in my room uh -huh. and talking in tongues down the hall. Yeah. What's up? Can I tell you? So real quick, she knows that I'm not a fan of the tongue speaking because I was brought up in a religion that it was just unheard of. So I was a strong believer that every time they start the bochinche in tongues, I start my bochinche. Well, God, if I'm supposed to understand this, then let me understand it because it is meant. I'm, it is meant for me. It's gonna be. But here's the problem with that prayer, because now I understand it all the time. <laughs> now I want them to be quiet. No, 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 I'm not standing. No, I want them to be quiet. Now. <laughs> they now understand it all the time. So was I wrong for asking for that prayer? No, 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 no. no. Okay. There ain't nobody in this room but me and you right now. Okay. This is a white room. It's all painted. Can we do black? No. Okay, we can do black and white. No, no. I like the color of black. It looks really good when it's clean. Right, shiny. Okay. But you drop one little thing on it, and, and you're gonna see it, right? You heard that, right? One little sin, and you'll see all of it. That's how humanity looks at you. One little sin and they bring everything else back up. But, 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 that was only me and you in this room. Yeah. I am being portrayed as Jesus. Or else. Wow. The holes, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Jesus is the holes, right? And the best part of it is all of those sins that you already let go, that you said, Jesus. That's it. It's gone. And I took it and I threw it away. Yes. What's that called? The sea of forgetfulness? Yes. Right? Now, she might remember, Kelvin might remember, but you ain't here right now. Anybody here but you and Jesus? That's your private room. You can get one. That's it. Paint it white. No, it's green. Well, there you go. But you have to when when you're hearing the tongues now you got a whole nother problem because no, no, you hear no, no. all Why of them you get your husband he i only hear i only yeah, hear what i need to hear <laughs> you know you that was the prayer specific, I, I thought i was specific i thought i told no, you that it was meant for no, me no this is jesus we're again talking about. listen and i did, did, no. okay so brother listen i said dear jesus if these tongues are for me, let me ah, hear it. Stop right there. These tongues. Okay, that's all of them. No. That's all. The tongues for me. <laughs> Who gotta be specific? <laughs> Lord, I want a blue car. Oh, okay, well, I'm gonna be this little fiat. Is that you see when I hear the tongues? <laughs> is they praying over me? <laughs> is my problem. Can you be specific when you say that? But I understand why. she said it. Why? And she said it. And, and it was just the two of them. It was just the two of them. Jesus yeah. got a sense of humor, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me, because I'm about chinchera, and my mouth gets me in trouble. So I'm going to go sit down. My name is Danny. Keep playing. Okay, I, don't worry. I'm going to let you chat about you, too. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. You know, I got no sideline. I got my mom like this, too. I, she got it with the bochinche. I said, Mommy, I'm about you, know about you. But okay. I said, No, no, but you, yes, he does. You talk about him. You, you know, we, you talk about him, about me, about my brothers, about my sister. Yeah. That's what you chat about in the and real world. Today, I've never heard it like this. So I'm going to go watch you chat about you. They, 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 they. Okay, what they does edifying mean? I think we got through that, right? Yeah. What does yeah. edifying yeah. mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to read 1 Corinthians 14, 17. I'm sweating right now. You, I got it. You are giving thanks well enough. You are giving thanks well enough. So that means it's enough. It's edifying, right? In a way that God is glorified. And that's all he wants from us any day. It's just to glorify him. So if you're doing that, then you're edified. You're done. You're good. I don't have, this is, yeah, this is stuff that I just wrote. But the other person who does not understand you, which means they're not, you know, 
part of the crew, Christians, is not edified. Which is verse 16. Is it? Yes. No. It says, Else when thou shalt bless with the Spirit, how shall he that occupies the room of the unlearned say amen as thy giving of thanks, seeing he understandeth not what thou sayest? And then 17 goes, So thou verily give thanks well, but the other is not edified. Oh, so I put it backwards. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And this edifying is the beginning of the working of miracles. Now, miracles is not, I'm going to pray for meniscus over here and he's going to be healed. That's not only a miracle. Yes, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. But miracles can be, I'm going to confess with my mouth that Mary is going to make a million dollars next year. Um, that's a miracle. Um, you know what I mean? I can speak good onto her and it can become. That's a miracle. Mm -hmm. There's more than just a miracle of healing where you see a guy on TV and one arm is longer than the other. No, that's a miracle, yes. But... <laughs> There's other types of miracles. Now, the gift of healing, which is a whole different thing, that means that, you know, we're going to keep using meniscus as the um, thing over here. God, he goes to sleep, and let's say Mary and the pastor and Marina are at church, and Marisol walks in. You're counting how many people there, right? Now we're more than three in one accord. So that fourth person walks in and says, hey, I want to pray for Jerry. He's sleeping at home and I know he's in pain. The boy, Jerry wakes up in the morning and he ain't got no more pain. He goes to the doctor's appointment and the doctor says, I must have the wrong file or something because, uh, yeah, Gerald, yeah, Rivera, you sure? That's your name? What's your birth year? Well, I don't see nothing here. I'm going to send you to another doctor. And then two years of going to another doctor, different doctors. Kelvin says, dude, how about stop going and paying all these hospital fees? You're healed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. Amen. It sure is. And we've seen it right here in this church. Amen. Amen. We were all, uh, maybe not you. Have you seen healing here in this church yet? No, but I know what you're talking about. My mother. Not I've seen. You my haven't seen. A, yeah, that's wow. that. You haven't seen healing in the church yet. No. Stand up again. Why am I standing up so much? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got bad knees. I'm, I'm 40 years old, Look, guys. Look, get on her now. <sighs> Leave my Jerry, alone. Trust me, I know your pain. Your meniscus is going to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> 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 She's talking about your meniscus. Mine is just bad knees all the way. Okay, bad knees. <laughs> so you ain't been healed? I'm talking, not you. Can I I'm talking, this? not you. Okay. Healing is not only physical, mm -hmm. mental, mm -hmm. spiritual. Mm -hmm. Spiritual mm -hmm. is different from spiritual. Your spirit is going to die one day, and you're either going to go to heaven or hell. Right? But your spirit. The Holy Spirit that's in her yeah. already changed. It's already a different thing. Because I haven't seen you in how long? I don't even know. You came with a young lady and you sat right over here? Oh, the, the, the first time. The first time. A long time ago. Yeah. You are a totally different person. Amen. Yeah. You're mess. taller, you're brighter, you're shining. Yeah, you sat right here. Mm -hmm. From Virginia? I'm not no. sure. A long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was a while. Right, well, I mean... You're a whole different person. That, that used to be and my corner before it was Veronica's. But what, what is that called, though? <laughs> what is that called? <laughs> <laughs> she said once. Oh, <laughs> so what is that called? <laughs> I want to say a work in progress, but... No. It's healing. It's healing. Okay. Okay. They, they, okay. She said work in progress. Now I'm going to go somewhere totally. I'll use you. I'm going to stop again. Right. Okay. So Marina says, <clears throat> touches meniscus. 
Very, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pray that God, no, not like that, not like this, no. Jerry, I want you to be healed in the name of Jesus, right? That's healing. It's instant. It's instant, right? Instant, boom, fix. But it don't have to be like that. It can be the work in progress. Yeah. But that's if Jerry prays for a work in progress. If Jerry requests and Marina is praying for an instant, so maybe what you want to do is just ask for an instant. No, 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 before these people started watching each other, I have a mother and a grandmother who they watch each other way before y'all. Yes. Yes. And I'm still praying. living on those prayers. Listen, too. listen, right? Amen. I, I'm, I'm good with the slow progress. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I want it some No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not ready. Not ready. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. There's no faith in prayer. Yeah. 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 Faith is our word. Okay. 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 Are you crazy? Can I just say something that um, last year when you came during our praise dance practice, you was a broken soul yes. of spirit. Yes. And I don't know if you remember much of that, but I was getting ready to do the salvation of prayer with you, and you did it on your own. Mm -hmm. I told you, no, I got you. you yeah. <laughs> so ever since, I remember that day. Ever, yeah. ever yeah. since you did that prayer, you already put yourself on a course with the Holy Spirit yeah. to make a change in your life. And when you make a covenant with God, you can't break it. He gives you a, He gives you chances if you fall behind, but but it's for you to learn and to continue forward. You know, a, a covenant can only be broken by God. Mm -hmm. Amen? And you're right. I mean, honestly, truly, it, it, if I'm going to say it, it's a pattern because, let's be honest, when I met this lady, it wasn't in this room. But this lady, I mean this lady, and I was talking about this lady to that lady, and that lady felt upon that when we said names, we knew. That's why I'm still her friend, you guys. That's why I'm still, because again, I, so yeah, y'all yeah, right. I'm just, I'm, I'm a slow progress. No. I'll get there one day. <laughs> Jerry, you need With healing anyway, so stand up your meniscus. Come with your meniscus. <laughs> now, the Bible says that he is healed. And all you gotta do is confess it, right? But, but, you ready for this? Oh. Jerry got problems in his back pocket that he don't want to let go. And Jerry has sins yep. that he's still committing. Right? <laughs> don't check your back yeah. pocket, honey. Just stand there. You're a prop right now. Just stand there, meniscus. So, hey, Mary, Veronica, Mar uh, Maribel, Mar Marisol, that's your name, right? Yes, I am. Um, Marina Shalomar, everybody here except for one person. Pablo, we're gonna use him. Yeah, that's not a good example because he could barely move anyway. Uh, we're used to you, okay? So this is the bench warmer. You know what a bench warmer is, right? Yeah. Um, but she's the bench. Well, not right now. She's the bench warmer right now. Traduce me bench warmer in español. El que calienta la silla. El que calienta los que no hace nada en la iglesia. No tiene caldo, no quiere hacer nada. Pero no es una bad thing. No es algo malo. Being comfortable. No. You see, everybody looks at the bench warmer that doesn't want to do nothing, doesn't want to collect the offering, doesn't want to sing at church on Sunday, doesn't want to preach. So it's not a bad thing if they really are meant to do something, though. Because you're, you're not, still, you're not at home with them when they're no. praying for you and your problems while you're going out and feeding the homeless. What is it? What is it? <laughs> but that person sitting at home, oh my God, save them, Lord, keep them safe while they're out feeding the homeless. Stop dangerous. talking about me. I'm begging. <laughs> right? right. So everybody's praying for Jerry for healing. And that's called bench warmer. But not a bench warmer. Watchmen. Watchmen. 
Yeah. Oh, we, we, we old school kind of house is called a bench warmer, right? So the bench warmer is praying and not praying for the meniscus, but praying for Jerry's heart. Because if Jerry's heart is not right, Jerry's not going to get healed. Right? So it's the whole thing together. We all have to. Um, was Proverbs six fifteen? Therefore, his disaster, which is his sin, will suddenly come upon him, and he will instantly be broken, and there will be no healing or remedy because God has nowhere in his heart. So you could pray for healing of the meniscus. But you gotta wait till the watchman's prayer is done. Mm -hmm. When Jerry's heart is right. Mm -hmm. So he could be praying for his meniscus for 20 years. And then he uh -huh. do nothing. Yeah. But he ain't gonna do nothing That's right. until that one little bench warmer's prayer mm -hmm. is answered and the three mm -hmm. must grow back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so but you see what I'm saying? So if, if we're not all praying for the high priest, and we're not evangelizing. We're not, what was yours again? Prophesying. Prophesying properly. I'm right? a bench warmer. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I'm a bench warmer. Too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? But that's an important job. Right. Yes. Because you're the watchman. I do the baby butt cheat shit. I sit back. No. no. You was that crew of people walking around, walking. Mm -hmm. No, you can't come over here talking to my pastor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're also exactly you're listening in the back of the church because that's the what the watchman does just sit there. But they're listening and they're like, Mira, Diakona. They over there. Um, you see, that sounds like me more. They talking about pastor. You see, that sounds like me. Mm -hmm. And then what does that person do? That person goes to the deacon, and the deacon takes the witness. And the bochinchera, the watchman, and goes to the pastor with it and says, Pastor, I am your deacon. I'm your backbone. And this person came to me and said, Everything has a witness. We don't ever sit with the pastor alone. No, but we both females. That does not matter. You always have a witness with you. Right? Why? Well, God used Maribel to talk to. M um, Marina and Marina misconstrued it and turned it into a whole lot of something else. And then she starts pointing the finger to her, saying, But you told me that God said, mm -hmm. Okay, and as your pastor, I'm going to pull the deacon in because he was here as a witness. And we have recordings of the word. And this is things that we don't do here in this church, we don't record the prophecy. I've been in churches where they record the prophecy and they give it to you. After they've done prophesied it to you, here. I still got it when they prophesied to her and me. In Miami, in Pennsylvania, was it right? They prophesied a whole thing to us. And it was in order. It was all in order. One person spoke in tongues, the other person translated it, and you have one guy in the background like this recording it all. Yeah. Uh, and and you know, say something yeah. like that. I just don't, yeah. I don't My hair is still standing up when I hear it. You know why? Because you're living it right now. But they prophesied to that woman. Wow. You're, that living, you're in it right now. The gifts. And it's just like, woo. And you hear a whole different, a different, uh oh, she says she got it. Got this? Mm hmm. There we go. So the word is different. You gotta hear. One one day we'll play it. Um, it's a whole different type of spirit. It's an order. You understand? We we Puerto Rican. We we Hispanics. We um except for Shalomar and well, Kelvin, you're you're Puerto Rican now. Um, we. We do things for feeling, right? But it starts with emotion. And then the emotion turns into, well, 
You know, since you're feeling like you had the Holy Spirit, I wasn't really going to give it to you now. It starts with just a couple of tears. Mm -hmm. And then the Holy Spirit says, I got you. The Holy Spirit says, I got you. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit says, I got you. And then what starts happening? Grab Kelvin. Grab Kelvin. Kelvin, grab Chalamar. Esther, grab the mano. Start walking past it. Right? The Holy Spirit got involved now. Marie, uh, Mary. <coughs> Keep walking. <laughs> right? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Veronica, grab onto Alexa. Around the back. My dad, you just been getting all this action today, Mama. Yeah. yeah. We, you, listen, right? we got you. We're all in, Marisol. Uh, grab the pastor the on the other side. You got, you all these now, people. stop, everybody. What just happened? We stopped. Somebody got in front of the pastor. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. Now. Marisol, why would you get in front of the pastor? The watchman, <laughs> the watchman is sitting in the corner over there. Her name is Kaylee, right? Mm -hmm. Come. <laughs> This is what the watchman does. <laughs> right here. Break that link. Rompe. That's what the watchman does. Nobody gets in front of the pastor. The pastor is the pastor. The pastor is the one with the direct link, the high priest. Right? So Marisol is going to try again to get in front of the pastor. But this time, the watchman is not watching. Not watching. Oh, man. Wait, 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 where are you taking us? We're not paying this? attention, so now Marina breaks that link. And oh, they start no. walking off. And all of y'all are going to sit down now. But y'all keep going around in circles doing craziness. And the watchman is not watching. And the equipo, this is what happens Nobody's to the equipo. Watching. Nobody's watching. And Shalomar goes back to the world. Marina goes back to the world. Kelvin goes back to the world. She shoots her husband. All because the watchman was not watching. Right? But that's not that bad. Because. Right? Yes. But what happened? The other member that she might have stabbed her husband, the other member went and got drunk. Oh, mm -hmm. And since he was a drinker for 30 years, he picked up right where he was he went, right, right, and he killed a family of five. Oh. All because the watchman was not watching. It's, okay. it's a chain effect. You have to all be watchmen, but do your job. Don't jump. Do not jump and do someone else's job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be like King Solomon. If your job is the lioness Mama. Rawr. <laughs> but don't go and roar to somebody else's job <laughs> right <laughs> secretary <laughs> as an example I don't know who's the secretary secretary she's doing the treasurer's job <laughs> the treasurer <laughs> is doing the deacon's job telling people yo take the gum out your mouth let's go <laughs> But then the pastor starts going to the door for it, right? Yeah! Ain't nothing out of order with God. The only part, the only part, and there's only one part in the Bible where God was out of order. You ready? Genesis 1. The first verse in the Bible. There's a whole thing missing there. Right? From verse 1 to 2 is. There's a whole thing missing. No, but it, but, but. And what was it? I can't pump the bridge, Pastor. I got this. <laughs> so, Genesis 1. If God doesn't make anything out of order, right? How was the earth dark and cold? Stuff. Because it was already here before. Well, can I just say it's because God likes to make something out of nothing. No. There's a whole thing missing, and it shows it later in the Bible. I gotta research it for you so I can find where it's at. But it talks about God made the heavens and the earth, but then he threw Satan down. Mm -hmm. Right, that part. And then the That's second the part. part of the That's verse the part comes where in. Everybody got me confused at, and I'm all confused. You're right. That part. Mm -hmm. 
and now he has to go and take seven days to redo everything that the devil just messed up. Mm -hmm. Right? Why don't the devil just mind his business? He's a She's going to represent the serpent. Yeah, I'll use the innocent one. So that way we know the serpent, right? Okay, so Pastor, you're going to be Eve. Poor, poor Pastor. Yeah, there you go. No, just don't bite it. Kelvin, you are Adam. Now, let's remember this is a demonstration. There's not a maraca, it's not even an apple. In the Bible, it doesn't say that it's an apple, it says it's a fruit. It's a fruit. So it can be any fruit, and I would prefer a fruit that we don't have anymore on earth. Just like the snake. Back then, the snake wasn't walking. Uh, it wasn't dragging. That was a punishment for what he did to... Yeah, okay. So the snake walks up, literally walking up, and tempts... Um, Eve with the apple. The fruit. The fruit, right? And um, Adam is just standing there chilling. He's like, yeah, what's up? You, you like apples? Uh, I got apples. Um, but what's this apple? Oh, yeah, no, we're not supposed to eat this. God said we're not supposed to eat this. But it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. The serpent said, it's okay. Don't worry about it. He just don't want you to be of him. Don't know. That's Satan putting lies. Right? And that's where the false prophecy comes in. Yeah. Maraca. So if, if Kelvin would have stopped her and said, no, get back. Don't talk to my wife like that. And we wouldn't be in this predicament. But then again, I am glad because I wouldn't want to see a snake walking. Right but now. then we wouldn't know either. Because things could have went out yeah, there. But worse, we would all be naked right now. Right? Again, you saw that's being church. Again, you saw that Let's think about it. But they didn't think of sin. It wasn't near Exactly. It so wouldn't be a problem. It wouldn't be a problem. And, and also but, the snake standing up, it would be normal. Right. It would have been weird. How many kids you got, Shalomar? Just one, right? What? No. I'm sorry. I have six. Okay, six. so you know the pain that you went through six times? Yes. You wouldn't have that. All that that yeah. lady has to do is not eat that fruit. Right, and, and I get that, and I understand that, but she did. <laughs> and, and here we are. My feet is hurting right now because I have to work. Right. All my day. feet wouldn't be hurting. Yeah. Right. Think about it. That's a big sin that she committed. Right, but then I can bring the argument up, but God, again, it had to be in God's plan because he knew ah. what was going to happen. So it's the it's whole... at that point that we still have to trust that so, his will is his will, and we have to accept it for what it is. What was the magic plan. word she just said? And she just repeated it right now. God's plan, right? Yeah. God's plan is for the evangelist to go find the person, the missionary to go and bring them from other countries, right? The tesorera to do her job. Yes. The deacon to do her job, his job. Oops. Everybody has their job. That's God's plan for the church. But the thing is, it's all here, right? This is the church. It's building the four walls, and Marina leaves one day, and the pastor leaves, and we take, and we go to another building. But this is the church. 
No. We are the church. So, cuando la hermana Esther se va hoy, when Sister Esther goes out that door today, she's taking her part of the church. Her job is to maintain that part. Mantener esa pieza de la iglesia. And then, when it's time on Friday, again, for church service, right look And that's why our spiritual gifts come into play. That's exactly what we're talking about. So if Kelvin slacks, meaning, oh, this week I don't want to be a Christian, I just want to go hang out in a bar. Right? But as a church, we're supposed to. But if we're not watching, you see how quickly? Boom! Watching. Rebuke. Get out. But if you're not watching, it's going to be like she allowed earlier. And when I got the little we got to all watch. We all watchmen, but we all have our own jobs. Our job is to protect the pastor. Okay? So right now, we were supposed to move the chair, but I'm starving. So we already moved the chair earlier, right? Yeah. I'm done. Amen. Everybody has their own part in the body. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderfully done. Amen. Thank you so much.